I think this thing lost prime. Just spitting. So if your sprinkler pump is doing that, odds are you need to replace your check valve, which is this piece right there. I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description, uh, namely the check valve. Um, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be plumbing in a flexible coupling right there that can be used to remove the pickup from the canal easy, easily without cutting the line. So let's get into the repair. And it seems to be done spitting. Let's shut it off. And here's the pickup that goes into the canal. I don't see a check valve. Maybe it's underwater, I'm not sure. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the pipe uh, right about, maybe like right there-ish. Always cool to see the wildlife. There's a red-eared slider in the water right there. Back to what we're doing. So let's cut the pipe like right here-ish. Just using a ratcheting tubing cutter. water is rushing out. That tells me that the check valve is bad or the check valve is up underground somewhere. And there's our check valve right there. If you see, there's the, uh, the drain pickup, I'm sorry, the pickup for the pump right there. It's got some window screen on there. And just forward of that, you have that little brass colored thing. That, that's the check valve. So it's possible there's something caught in there. It's actually a really easy way to ch test for a bad check valve too, or one that's stuck. So I'm going to spray water down the end of the pipe right here. And if we see water come out the other end, we know that there's a problem with the check valve. So I'm spraying with a garden hose. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a deluge of water. Lots of water coming out. Got everything hauled back into the garage. Took the screen off uh, the pickup. Uh, my, my trick there is just to use window screen, because you can buy these, these drain socks that fit over these things that, pi that prevent you from picking up crap from the bottom of a lake or a canal or something, but they don't last that long. They only last a year or two. I find that window screen works a lot better. I'm just going to do a couple more wraps because that was a single wrap and there was still some stuff getting through that, but we'll do that later. So first step is to unscrew the pipe from the check valve and the check valve from the pickup. Got it mostly removed. Just use a big crescent wrench and a, and a pipe wrench. So now I just got to unscrew it the rest of the way from, from here. And we'll go and illustrate the problem as to why we're doing this. So here's an illustration of the problem. I'm putting water in the uh, in the reverse flow direction. So I'm putting water in the end that goes towards the pump. And notice water is pouring out the bottom. I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see light through this. So it's not closing properly. I don't know if there's something caught in there or what, but oh, so it was just a little stuck. See now it's now it's sealing. Sort of. Ah, uh, still leaking. So it might just be dirty. Because now it's sort of holding. But we're not going to chance it. We're just going to replace it. And now it's stuck. And my mistake. This is actually the, the pickup side, not the, the side that goes to the pump. But now it's actually sealing. What happened? I found these two little pebbles in there. They were preventing it from sealing. Now it seems perfect. Or nearly perfect. Filled that check valve up with water. I'm gonna see how long it stays in there for, just from my own knowledge. You can see it's seeping out a little bit. That's probably not worth messing with. A couple minutes has gone by and you can see water's leaking out. So this thing doesn't have a perfect seal anymore. Here's the new one by comparison. The deck is bone dry below it. Maybe five more minutes has gone by. You can see that one on the right, the old one is still leaking. The one on the left, the deck is still bone dry, not a drop. So. We're going to toss the one on the right. These things are so cheap I and mean, they're like 20 bucks or so. It's not worth even keeping around as a spare. Bye, Felicia. Okay, it's time to reinstall or install the new check valve. You got to make sure you install it in the right direction though. So notice this one has an arrow marking the direction of flow. So this is going to go towards the pickup side. This is going to go towards the pump side. And that's the side that should go towards the pump because when the pump sucks water, it's going to open the check valve like that and allow water to flow through. So before I, I screw it onto these threads, I'm just going to use some of this 
OD great white pipe joint compound. All right, there's the finished product. I got the check valve installed with the water flow arrow pointing in that direction, which goes towards the pump. This is the suction side. Now, if you don't have that OD great white stuff, you can pick this up at Lowe's. I'll give you a link in the description to buy it on Amazon. It's really good stuff. I never use Teflon tape anymore, but if you like Teflon tape, you can use that too. So now it's time to wrap this pickup with some window screen to make sure that this doesn't happen again. I'm not even sure how pebbles got caught in there to begin with because the, they were too big to pass through the screen. Very strange. All right, so here's the final assembly. You see the, the pickup right here. It has a couple layers of window screen zip tied onto there to keep all the nonsense out. Then we have our check valve that is sealed with that OD great white stuff. We have our existing PVC pipe. And at the end, you see I have this Fernco. Now I was going to use a threaded adapter to give the Fernco something to bite onto, but the hose clamps that are on this Fernco are actually pretty strong. And Fernco is just a, the name of that rubber coupling you see there. So I think that we probably are not gonna need one of those threaded couplings. So now the next step is to put the other end of that Fernco onto the pipe sticking out of the ground where we cut off. Okay, we are back at the canal. One of these days I'll build some kind of float system for this thing. Just to keep it off the ground, bottom of the canal, sucking up all sorts of debris. I may also move the check valve from the end there to perhaps here. I don't know if that's gonna perform better or prevent it from clogging. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna try this. I don't, I don't know if there's technically a right or a wrong way to do this. If anybody knows, feel free to share. And just tighten down that clamp. And there we go. One of the added benefits of putting the check valve there is if you ever need to pull that piece of pipe out of the canal again for whatever reason, you don't lose your prime. So that's a benefit of putting it right there as opposed to putting the check valve underwater all the way down there. But we'll see how it goes. We can always move it. Now the next step is to prime the system. And to do that, we hook a garden hose up to this gate valve right here on the suction side of the pump. They've already got a little coupler here that converts the male threads of that hose bib to these male threads of this garden hose. What I usually do is I'll open this valve so I can see when things are full. This is kind of a tedious process. Sometimes it takes multiple tries, but just kind of pump water in until it squirts out of there, let it sit, and repeat the process. We got some water burping out of there. kind of easing the water into it. Now let's turn the pump on and see what happens. Now, if everything's working properly, that water should gush and hit that fence, but it might take a little while. Let's see if it stays doing that. Give it a minute. Took a while, but I think we finally got it primed. Gonna let that vent for a second, and then we'll turn the sprinklers on. Turn this valve off. There we go. Let's see what zone, this zone is on, there we go. So we got sprinklers. Let's switch zones just to make sure everything's okay. Gonna turn the pump off. Let it sit for about 10 seconds. We're gonna turn it back on and that should kick to the next zone. That's because this system has an indexing valve, which is right there. All right guys, well hopefully you found that check valve repair video helpful. And again, there's different ways to solve that problem. That's just how I like to do it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Stay safe, and thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.